Today I'm going to be building and reviewing the 3018 Saiyan Smart Genmitsu CNC machine. So I'm going to build this thing as fast as possible. I'm going to go for the speedrun world record. So we can see we got all the parts here, there's quite a few. This was the highest rated CNC kit I could find on Amazon. That was reasonably priced and looked like it could do what I need it to. So mostly I'll be machining aluminum. Alright, we have everything for step one, now I just need to put all these screws in. Alright, so now I'm in Fusion 360. I'm going to switch over to manufacture so I can make G-code so I can run it on the CNC and produce this part. I'm going to try running my G-code without any metal in here first, just to see if it does what I'm expecting it to. That didn't seem right. Alright, I just got Universal G-Code Sender, and I'm going to open up my file and see if I can recreate that error I was getting. This is clearly messed up. So I stopped the machine. I think my feed rates were too aggressive. And I've slowed the speeds down. I'm also going to add a little bit of oil. Alright, so I reset the program again and now I'm going to run it um, at slower speeds and I fixed the issue where the spindle wasn't spinning fast enough. So it looks like I broke the end mill at some point. I had a metal rod that came loose. I think it just vibrated out of there. So overall, I think this machine is a little bit underbuilt for cutting out thick aluminum plates. I think I'd be better served by a bandsaw. All right, I just pushed that rod back into position. If it keeps coming loose, I'll have to figure out a more permanent fix for it, but for now, I'll just take it easier on the machine and hope that it doesn't become a problem again. Looks like it only went about three millimeters deep. My plate was a little over six millimeters. Deep. 
So the 3018 only cut about halfway through the sheet of material. That took almost an hour. I could keep cutting with a slower feed rate, but then I'm looking at close to three hours to cut this piece out. So I cut the rest of the way through with a step drill and a hacksaw. And now I'm gonna clean it up with a Dremel. All right, so here's the final result. And it kind of looks like crap, but the holes are all in the right spot, or at least I think they are, and we'll find out in a minute here. And that's one of the main reasons I got a CNC, is so that I can create these precise hole patterns that will made up with other parts, so I can start building more complex mechanical assemblies. Alright, and that lines up just right. Alright, and now that's all put together. So if you're wondering what this black piece is, this is a high strength, high speed servo that I'm using for my next robotics project. So if you want to see how that turns out, make sure you're subscribed and you'll catch the next video.